Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Magical Maiden. I'm sorry about the noise. I do have somebody upstairs uh, on the roof blowing leaves right now. I'm going to have my lawn done tomorrow, so... Okay, so I made another pendulum. This was the one I made the other day with my amethyst and the little star bead. Then this one is another iridescent bead at the end. It's a heart. And this is one of my old crystal pendants I got at a Renaissance fair. And it's not as fancy as this one with a bunch of beads, but I made it simple. They're all eight inches long, because that's the typical length for these pendulums. Okay, and I've already used my sage, and I've cleansed. I have a white candle here, right here. So I'm going to be axing some questions and I have a few that I wrote down so I'm going to probably switch pendulums because they both work I tested this one I made one for my husband yes so he can ask his own questions but he has to pick a board and print it out okay so I'm going to try my hardest to get everything in the shot here. This is me. <laughs> I have my nice uh, lava stone and obsidian and amethyst beaded chain necklace with an amethyst and uh, I believe that's a moonstone. Uh, it's really and not as heavy too. I wear that all the time. I love it. And you can adjust it. Okay. So I'm going to hold it. I'm trying to find a comfortable position. I'm trying to get enough light on this subject. <laughs> so hold on. Okay. All right. I want to get comfortable. It's just not a great situation until I get a, a nice desk. Okay, now I gotta pull up my questions and I've already did my prayer of protection and stated my intentions of who I want the information to come from. So my questions are for my pendulum and then of course I'm gonna ask about my cats. Butterbull and Rudy that recently passed. Rudy recently passed. Butterbull died in 2015. Okay. Has Butterball and Rudy seen the shadow box tribute I made for them? Has Butterball and Rudy seen the shadow box tribute box I made for them? It's saying yes. Ooh, I love feeling that energy. Thank you. Okay, my next question is, do Butterball and Rudy like the shadow box I made to honor them? Do Butterball and Rudy like the shadow box I made to honor them? And it's going to yes. Look at that. Okay. I try to hold my arm so that my hand won't shake. Okay. Okay, so now, is my cat Rudy happy now? Is my cat Rudy happy now? Is my cat Rudy that passed happy now? where he is saying yes okay and you should always hold it still did my husband really hear Rudy meow after Rudy passed did my husband really hear Rudy was it really Rudy that meowed after he passed saying yes. 
because my husband heard Rudy the day after we came home from the vet after we had a you know have him sent to the rainbow bridge and I was coming out of the bathroom after wiping my eyes my husband was standing in front of the door and he he said you hear that and I'm like what and he goes you hear that again as I was coming out and I'm like I didn't hear it and then as we were walking away he heard it again he was directly next to me I heard nothing and I'm the Claire audience so <laughs> and I'm still upset that I haven't heard from him all right well my sage went out but I'll relight it um, I already cleansed everything so I'm just gonna check the monitor because I'm taking a break for a second good it's you can still have the view all right All right, now since I haven't heard Rudy, I don't know why I'm not feeling him. I heard from Butterball right away, so here it is. Will I hear from my cat Rudy soon in a visit from him? It's saying yes. The longer you leave it, the more it gains momentum. Okay, thank you. Here is, I want to ask about that situation I talked about in my one paranormal blog. Uh, the time I heard a voice saying, now don't downloading program into subject, was that military? It's shaking, so it's confused. Who was that that said, now downloading program into subject? Was it military? There it goes. Yes. So it was probably the military, whatever complex. They didn't, oh, it's shaken. So it's, it definitely means that was them, those little stinkers. If you're not familiar with that story, watch the one where I say, it, I think I did it last week, I uploaded it. It's called Spooky Chat. And you gotta go see it. It's, you'll see the uh, thumbnail is of a crystal bowl with my face in it, okay? And I also have an episode where I go more into detail about that. Okay. Was that a bad program that they were trying to download into me? Immediately, yes. And I was told by a psychic, yes. Okay. The time before I was born and I was in a white room with a portal in front of me, and I changed my mind about coming to Earth to be born. Did that happen? It's saying yes. And I even communicated with um, other spirits and other entities, and they told me that that happened before I was born. So no, no joke that I didn't want to come here. <laughs> <laughs> because you get to know the future, I think. You're shown everything. Um, I have some of my memories, but, you know, a lot of them are gone, unfortunately. Because uh, you get a memory wipe when you're born. But I remember that instance right before I was born, uh, because you have to go through a portal. And they needed me here. And I said, I changed my mind because it was my understanding. And I go into this in some of, uh, one of my episodes on my paranormal blogs. I said that I did not want to come anymore. I changed my mind. They asked me, but why did you change your mind? And I said, because I'm scared. And because I didn't want to, I remember, I didn't want to not remember who I was or have my abilities. And they said we could work with that. So they, they let me keep some memories and my, some of my abilities. So that's that. But anyway, I go more in depth in another video. Okay, so. Did Michael Archangel really come and save me from a demon back when I was a child? It's saying yes. Yeah. Um, I tell about that story also in one of my paranormal blogs. It should be in the title. And uh, I just wanted to make sure, even though I know it was real, <laughs> I lived it. 
and yep Michael Archangel he's everywhere and he does good he really did and he doesn't have blonde hair it only looks that way because he's a light bean and he's surrounded by golden white light he has light brown hair and when I was little I had a major crush on him after he saved me <laughs> so um, you know You know, because he saved me. I was a child, and I was just like, wow. I mean, magnificent, okay, with the sword and his shield and the whole nine yards. And he brought it, <laughs> and he kicked, kicked ass on that demon. So, okay. Will my husband and I be moving into a new and nicer house? It's saying yes good because I love this house but I don't really love it love it it's a 1980s it was built we really wanted to when we moved here we really wanted a new house a more modern house and because my first house with my ex-husband was a 1980s house you know what I mean I never get exactly what I wanted we live by the woods we thought that was gonna be a good thing but the bugs that you have to battle and in living in the south with those giant palmetto bugs uh there's other bugs that get in um which my had made my husband seal everything in and out so that you know there's just a lot of foliage it's too much my husband's disabled he also has a heart problem and physically it's just too much for him to take care of and we have a giant backyard and we can we can't use it it needs a lot of work done to it um and there's a lot of other things so we we really wanted a more modern house with either like tray ceilings and cathedrals some modern architecture that's what we wanted but you know you get what you can get and i'm thankful and i have gratitude for the home we have and i love being in nature but my sinuses and my husband's sinuses do not i keep getting sinuses and sinus infections that make me get a fever it's horrible so I'm really wanting to move back to Florida so will and this kind of will we move into a newer house Will we move into a newer house, newer than a 1980 house? Will the house be newer than this house that I live in now, the one that we move into? Will the new, will the new house that my husband and I move into be a newer house, newer than this? It's kind of not answering me. It's going around in a circle. It's saying no. What do you mean no? It's older will it be an older house than this oh boy it's saying yes holy moly who wants an older <laughs> I don't know. okay will the house we move into be in Florida so we'll be moving into a house in Florida it's saying yes groovy Will the new house we move into be within two years or sooner? I can't confuse it. That's two questions. Will the new house we move into be within two years? So it's saying yes. I better not be my old house because I don't want it. <laughs> that I lived in too far. All right, now I'm getting to other things. Is the dome over the earth that we live in finally gone? Yes. Okay, now I know some of you don't believe in flat earth and it's not flat. It's not round. It's a toroidal. So everybody's right. It's round, flat on top, and hollow in the middle for those hollow earthers. So yes, it's all of those things. And you don't have to believe me, that's fine. Everybody comes to their own conclusions, which I'm going to X. But yes, it's a toroidal. 
Is the earth we live in a toroidal? There it goes. Yes. All right. Is the earth we live in flat? No. See? Okay. Let me just scroll this up a little. Will I get a large sum of money soon? Will I get a large sum of money soon? Larger than $10,000. Will I get a large sum of money soon? Will I get a large amount of money larger than $10,000? Larger than $100,000? Okay, it's saying yes. When will I get a, okay, hold on. When, that's not good. When will I get a large sum of money? Will it be within the next few months? Okay, it's saying yes. Will the financial system finally crash soon? saying yes. Will, will we no longer have to pay bills? It's, uh, will we no longer have to pay bills? It's saying yes. Kind of. Wait, let me redo this. Will we no longer have to pay bills? Okay, it's saying yes. Okay. Are there lands behind the ice wall in Antarctica? Are there lands behind the ice wall in Antarctica? Yes. Do Tartarians and others live beyond the ice wall? saying yes. Can I communicate with others that live beyond the ice wall? So, saying yes. All right, let me see. I have a few other questions. Let me just get a breather. Switch my pendulum to my newer one. Put this one over here. Thank you, pendulum. And I'm going to put some energy into the new one. Okay. Have I talked to any of the others that live behind the ice wall? Have I talked to others that have that live beyond the ice wall? So I have. So when I do my spirit communication and stuff, that's probably where it comes from. Okay. And the age-old question that I've been wanting since 1980: Will we have flying cars within five years? Will we have flying cars within five years? It's saying yes. Okay, thank you. Is the solar flash happening this year? It's saying yes. Are we going from carbon bodies to crystalline? 
are we going from carbon bodies to crystalline? Okay. Will I ever live close to the ocean again? Saying yes, because I used to live five minutes from the beach when I lived in Florida, <laughs> by car anyway, off the of A1A. Do Rudy and Butterball play paper ball-y where they are now? Their favorite game. Does Rudy and Butterball still play paper ball -y where they are now? Okay, they do. Can Rudy and Butterball hear me when I talk to them? Can Butterball and Rudy hear me when I talk to them? Does Butterball and Rudy, does Butterball and Rudy hear me when I talk to them? So it's saying yes. Okay, again, they do have, if you have a shaky hand, they do have a tripod where you can hook your pendulum up. It's a wooden one, and it's like a tripod, and you hook this in the center, and you can ask questions. But they don't always work because it needs your energy to hold it, but they do work for some, sometimes. Okay. Does Rudy sleep with me at night like he used to? Does Rudy sleep with me at night? like he used to. It's saying yes. So he still comes there at night. Okay. Does Rudy, do Rudy and Butterball visit me often? Does Rudy and Butterball visit me often? Okay, so those are all the questions that I have for today. I'll be thinking of new ones coming soon. So these are my two that I made. This is my first one. It has an iridescent star bead that you can get at Hobby Lobby or Michaels and other beads that you can get at Hobby Lobby. This was from a review I did that gave me a bunch of different crystals. This is an amethyst. And I made a bag for that. And then this one was a pendant, a quartz crystal clear pendant that I got with real silver. And then this is just an iridescent kind of heart tear shape bead that I got at Hobby Lobby and just a chain and some jump rings. That's it. I made it more simple and they both work. So that's it. Just remember to set your intentions. Remember to do your prayer protection, light some sage and cleanse it. So now what I'm going to do is because I'm finished, I'm going to cleanse the board. And remove any negativity. I cleanse this pendulum board of any negative energy and replace it with good positive energy. And now I'm going to do the same with my pendulums. I cleanse this pendulum of any negative energy and replace it and charge it with good positive in energies and intentions. I cleanse this board. I cleanse this pendulum of any negative energies and replace it with good positive energies and charge it with this sage. And I charge this board as well with my good and positive energies and I cleanse this board with good and positive energies and cleanse it of all negative and evil energies so that they may never communicate with me only good and positive and of the highest good. And I cleanse this space 
in my vessel of anything negative and I only have positive energy around me. Okay, so now I'm going to smoosh that out. So that's it. If you, if anybody has any questions that you want me to ask the pendulum for my next session, put it in the comment section and I'll write it down and I'll see what answers they come up with. Okay? Don't be ridiculous. Make sure they're yes and no questions. I can't ask this whole long paragraph of things. So try to ask me questions that I can actually answer. Um, you know, with yes and no. They do have, now they do have other boards, by the way, that have letters and numbers. Now I know some of you think this is like a Ouija board. And in a way, kind of, but mm, a little bit different. Uh, any definition is all similar, but and again, I explained that in my last video where I was doing a Q&A. And if you haven't seen that, go watch that now, right after this. So remember to put any questions you have for me below in the comments section. If you have any questions about anything, you know, whether it be a personal question um, sometimes, or if it's a worldly question, because sometimes I can't it may not answer me because it's your personal question. Uh, but again, I have a DIY showing you how to make your own pendulum board and your own pendulums. I also made my husband a pendulum. I don't want to get too much energy, but I can cleanse it for him. He has to make his own board. This is a crystal. I got a bunch of crystals. I kind of haphazardly wire wrapped it and I had a bead cap and I put an obsidian bead that I had and then chain and then another obsidian bead at the end. I'm not using it because it's his. And I believe that he should have his own energy on it. So, I mean, they don't have to look perfect, but they do have to work. So there it is. And remember, you can use these for healing and unblocking your chakras as well. So I'm going to end this video and remind you to subscribe if you're not subscribed like this video and click that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload my newest content and leave any questions if you have any yes or no type questions for the pendulum so I can write them down and have another session so thanks for watching